I'm Jake with Senkut Sen. Welcome back to our series on the technical side of bending. Every day, Senkut Sen bends tens of thousands of parts, so we know a thing or two about bending. So let's get into it. Check it out. On lesson seven, we're gonna be diving into bend considerations. At this point, we've gone through key terms, equations, things to consider, different materials. And if you haven't seen those videos, go back and check those out really quick because a lot of the bend considerations are not gonna make sense until you do see those things. But we're gonna break this into two parts because I wanna talk about these in a little bit more detail. And we're gonna go over here to the board now and we're gonna jump into essentially a lot of things that happen in the background at Senka Sen. So bend considerations specifically about Senka Sen on this one. Um, the first thing is, is our max overall part limits for bending. If you put in a part that is right now over 44 by 30 inches, it's not gonna allow you to select bending. You can still order the part, but not necessarily select bending on it, so your bend lines aren't gonna show up. There is a disclaimer on this one. As of right now, that's what this is, but we're always changing things. We're always buying new equipment. We're working on making things so we can expand our offerings to you guys. So on this number, don't quote me on it, go check out our website on our bending guidelines and this is gonna be the most up-to-date information that you have there. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for this. There's bending limitation reasons to this, there's also shipping limitations, there's material limitations to this, and that's what we're always trying to develop and get better and stuff for you guys. The next thing is, is the max bend, bend length. Now there's two main factors to this. It's mostly on material and thickness. So that's the two dependencies right now, what we currently offer, again, these all are gonna change potentially in the future, is anywhere from 16 inches all the way up to 44 inches. And so, you know, on a heavier steel, that's quarter of an inch, you're gonna see 16 inches as the maximum bend length. And if you jump up all the way into, say, a thinner aluminum, 100 thou aluminum, it's gonna jump all the way up to 44 inches of length. So that's the length in which we can bend along that line. You know, so pro tip really quick right here is that if you do have a really long bend, say in quarter inch steel, that's 16 inches and you want 44, if you go ahead and you take that bend long, so if I draw that part and I have a dotted line all the way down that part and we'll say that this is 44 inches, what you can end up doing is, is you can cut here several times and turn them into smaller bend lengths right in here. And that'll allow you to actually um, bend them through Senkut Sen. Um, I do this often and stuff. I have long parts and stuff. I can either weld back up those seams or sometimes it's not structural. I actually don't care. I just want a long bend across that, that area. Um, you know, proper reliefs, like we've talked about in previous videos, make sure that they're in there so you don't get that distortion. You get a clean product. The next one is max overall thickness. Now this is one that is very material dependent. Um, it relies on the brakes that we have and the tonnage that we're able to provide for you guys, as well as the tooling. Right now, this is set at quarter of an inch, so we don't go over quarter of an inch thick. So that is one consideration when you're actually designing your parts. If you design a 3.8 steel part, we're not gonna necessarily be able to bend that for you. But this, again, could change in the future. So go check out those bending guidelines um, for the most up-to-date information. The last thing is max angle on, is gonna be dependent on material thickness as well as the material itself. And there's a handful of reasons for this. If you go back to previous in the series, we talked about ductility versus brittleness. Some materials are much more ductile than others. That can limit the way that we can bend those and how far that we can actually bend them. And so when we come over here, we're measuring off this outside angle, right? So the amount that we can bend it, if this is continue out, we're bending it over right here. So this would be 130 degrees right here. And then say this one is 20 degrees. So we're measuring on that outside angle. Right now for most of our materials, 130 degrees is the max. For materials such as like polycarb that tend to crack if we go over a certain amount, that stress becomes too much in those bent areas, you're gonna see 90 degree as that limit. And so for those, the best way to know exactly what those limits are is to go to the material guidelines. For those specific materials, go to the bending section and you're gonna see exactly what we can bend it to on the max angle. And just know that that's on the outside of that bend. 
So that's it for part one of the bending considerations. To get pricing on your parts, go drag or drop a step file or DXF on the SecCutSense website. Always check out that merch store and we'll see you on part two. Thanks for watching.